What you pray for now, Black Rob? What's the matter? Is Jerry Swan not home this morning? <laughs> you better leave him be. Maybe praying to save your slippery thieving soul from the hellfire it's got coming to it. Nah. <laughs> yeah, not steal from nobody. Just accept token gift of thank you from white man. Mm. We've got plenty. How far, Okan? Not far. Why? You said that yesterday and the day before, my son. Well, today we're closer. Today we're in the land of Ojibwa, home of Hiawatha's people. Good, it's about time we meet this Hiawatha. Oka, now you're sure he's a man we can talk to? No, I've never met him. I just heard stories. What? You lied to me. You told me you knew him well. Oh, I never lied. Everybody knows of Hiawatha, just nobody ever met him. If this thing with Hiawatha doesn't work, there'll always be others. Oh, look at this country. Mm. Crawling with fur. Look at it indeed, Jean Bertrand. I must confess, the further in than we come, the more unsettled I feel. Nerves, priest. Nerves. That's your problem. You've been a teacher all your life, not a man of action as uh, ourselves here. But just remember, there are fortunes to be made here for your eyes. That is, of course, unless uh, we let the English beat us to it. You want something to pray about? You pray that don't happen. Yes. Here's your bullet. Now what? We wait for a sign. A sign? I want to have his own way of making himself known to people. Good. That's all we need. More sign. Heathen idolatry. Shah. <laughs> Thank you. 
looks like the man in charge. Find out who he is and ask him where the devil the merman pelts he's wearing came from. Oka, tell him who we are and that we come in peace in search of the great Ojibwe chieftain Hiawatha. Ibim, Nadagoshin. Ojibwa Ogmaan Hiawatha Nindwatman. Ask him if he would be so good as to accept our, our gifts as token of our friendship. Uh, and if we might sit for a while and, and talk with him. Bidonan which kitch kajan. Kigitoan begosendan. Emin Joan Hiawatha. He say what you want with Hiawatha. Tell him Hiawatha is known as a great warrior and wise Sachem. Sachem. As far away as the big sea water. Hiawatha. Manada Jigaza Ninzad the Wamati Kadik. Non Bake. Pendagulasuk. He says his name is Iago. He wants you to bring your gifts. Oh, he does, does he? And uh, where might we bring them? Kanusha, Hiawatha. The Kokum is soon. He says he wants you to talk to Hiawatha's grandmother. The Komis. You say this old woman lived with the spirits on the moon many years ago. But then one day she fell to earth when her spirit father came to find her. He was killed by the evil magician, Pearl Feather. Ask him if he expects to swallow all that. I don't know. It's a good story, though. Put that stuff down. Priest. Say, sit down. Ask her why this visit is necessary when our business is with Hiawatha. Kugoy de Nishki. Ejiwabu Bigoy and Hiawatha Umbin up down. Oka. Tell Okomis, we deeply appreciate her hospitality. And we will be happy to answer any questions she might have about us. We want the Sachem Hiawatha to know that we bring great things for his people. Hmm? Pots, pans, guns, and eyes. In exchange, of course, for fur. Windamo Hiawatha, even the Gaygood, Midona, Pashkiziganan, Mokamanan. Tell her also that. Mapa, make the kunyek dash. She wants to know what you're doing here, Black Robe. Tell her I only bring good news. Good news of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We are so aged, what? Jesus, when we are so gone. Oh, nin dog, good sir. The podcast when the mita be where when he win. She say, interesting. Now you go away. Wait a minute. We've come a long way on a promise that this Hiawatha would sit and uh, do business with us. You say you got a bad promise. 
She knows about white men. Got no use for them. I say, gentlemen, why should we waste any more time sitting here listening to her? You want furs? Listen. <laughs> Look, Miss Say, too much talk. I talk, you talk, he talk, 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 talk. When you go, you say we're going to need a long time fire if Yago going to start blowing wind. <laughs> Lohomis has a daughter, Winona. She's beautiful. She make error. Loves Mitskiewicz, who is a bad character. They have a son. She is depressed and dies of pity she feels for herself and gives up her life in the forest. Lohomis becomes mother source of nourishment for Hiawatha. Who was this Majikiwis? We'll talk now, later. Hiawatha is a blessed child, a child of wonder. Hiawatha is favored by the spirits from the time he was a little boy. As a boy, Hiawatha was always better than the others. Faster, stronger, smarter too. Back in those days were times of war. Tribes killing other tribes over feuds sometimes so old nobody remember what started them. Mandan, Delaware, Huron, no matter. So while Nokomis teaches Hiawatha ways of the people, I teach the boy ways of forest and ways of hunter, ways of men and ways of war. Soon the Council of Elders make Hiawatha youngest war chief ever. But not everybody was happy with that. Make for much trouble later. Even though Hiawatha became a great warrior and hunter, and his name became known among all the nations, he still was not at peace in his heart. And even though Hiawatha asked many times, Nokomis never talked to him about secrets of times past. It is a fine young buck, my grandson. How did you find And you have turned into a fine young man. We shall feast well on this meat. Grandmother. If as you say, I am a man, then it is time I knew what happened to my mother and father. Yes. I think the time has come for you to learn of your mother, Winona, and to judge for yourself your father, Majikwis. Come inside, Hiawatha. They say he is a mighty warrior. Fearless, terrible in battle. He lives in the great mountains in the west. Some say he is kin to the west wind. And he is the one who left my mother to die of a broken heart? Mm -hmm. I will go to the western mountains. And I will find this Majikiewicz. Yes. I will see how it fares with my father. So Hiawatha goes to find his father to kill him. He crosses the mighty rivers, 
passes the prairies, the land of the crows and foxes, the dwellings of the Blackfeet, until he comes to the Rocky Mountains. the Ojibwe, son of Winona, grandson of Nokomis. You are welcome, Hiawatha. Welcome to the kingdom of the West Wind. Come here to me. Long have I been waiting for you, my son. How did you know I would come? You're a good son, aren't you? A good son should pay his respects to his father. So I have been told. Something troubles you? No. It is only that my heart is full with having finally met my father. You are here now. That's what matters. Look at you. Youth is lovely, age is lonely, youth is fiery, age is frosty. But the sight of you already has started to bring back my youth. They come, my son, always. When times are hard, they bring their offerings. Bowls of venison, wampum, weapons. What people don't understand is their wants and desires amount to nothing. But what matters, my son, is the will of the immortals. The will of the immortals. I see. It is the hardest lesson of all. If you are ruler of the winds of heaven, then you must be very powerful. There is nothing beneath the sun and the moon that could do harm to Mujikiewicz. Almost nothing. There's Wabik. The Black Rock. That's it over there. That? Yes, that. It was cursed by the evil magician, Megasagwan, whom you may have known as Pearl feather. What does it do? Who knows? But as long as I have it, and he doesn't, how can it hurt me? Tell me, son, what else would you like to know? Tell me about my mother. You really want to know that? A long time ago, word was brought to me about a lovely maiden named Winona, living in the land of the Ojibwe. So I went to look for her. Winona and I spent the whole spring and summer together. It was the happiest time of my life. But I knew I was going to have to return here. And she would not be able to come with me. <laughs> then you admit it. You turned your back on her. You might as well have shot her through with an arrow. You killed her. And now I must kill you. Stop. I told you I might have to kill you. 
kill me if you can, Father. My son, Hiawatha, I now speak to you from the land of the hereafter. You will now go back to your home among your people and cleanse the earth of all who harm it. But you must prove yourself worthy of the prize. The prize? What prize? Immortality, my son. And if I fail? Fail? Speak not of failure, my son, Hiawatha. Go forth and seek glory for yourself and for your father. Doing out in the river, at the edge of a waterfall. It's a long story. All right. I met a maiden, and she threw me in. Oh. Are you laughing at me? No. I guess it sounds pretty stupid. <laughs> Just said it. Well, if you knew the maiden. <laughs> what is your name, anyways? I'm Hawata of the Ojibwe. I'm Chubiabas of the Seneca. Wait. Have our tribes gone to war? Haven't been at home for a while. I haven't either. But not when I left. Good. We don't have to kill each other. <laughs> so, what brings you this way, Harry Walter? I heard of Miss Shimokwa, the great arrow maker of the Dakota. I want to trade with him for some arrowheads. Then I'm going home. Do you know where I can find him? Come with me. You said you just came from the Kingdom of the West Wind. I've heard rumors of it, but I've never been there. I'd leave it that way if I were you. So, why'd you go there? It was a family matter. Why? I'm always looking for good stories. I'm a poet and a singer. My family expected me to become a great warrior like my father and grandfather's. Wasn't what they expected of you important? Well, yes. To tell you the truth, I'm not a very good warrior. If our tribes had been at war, 
You probably would have killed me back there. So I just wander, collecting stories from all the nations. At least she didn't throw these in after me. Who is this maiden? Minnehaha, laughing water. I was embarrassed when he found me drowning. I was trying to get her attention. I was so sure she was falling for me. There's a story I learned from the Cherokee. Listen. Awake, beloved. Thou, the wild flower of the forest. Thou, the wild bird of the prairies. Thou with eyes so soft and fawn-like. If thou lookest at me, I am happy. You're not a maiden. Believe me, it's never failed. Until today. You know, we're so close. How could she do that? I don't know. But I would never let a maiden do that to me. <laughs> See? Tell me, what do you have to trade? A fine wampum belt from a Cree chief that I killed in battle. Mm. In it, in it. Bear claws. The shells from the big water. I see. Minya, bring us some meat, beer cakes. Yes, Father. This is meat from Flint and Jasper. They're my best work. I do not trade with just anyone. Tell me, are you a good shot? In the land of the Ojibwe, I am thought to be the finest. Oh, another one. What do you mean, another one? That's what all the warriors say. I am the best. I can shoot the eye of a flying squirrel at a hundred paces. This girl with the waspy mouth is my daughter, Minnehaha. I am Hiawatha. I don't know that man. Who is he? Chibiabos, Seneca. It's all right, Father. I already met him. I named her after the falls of Minnehaha for the beauty and sweetness of the water. The beauty is one thing. You're still working on the sweetness. <laughs> Good. Not too sweet. I'm glad you like it that way. I want to. You like these arrowheads? Yes. We will trade. You're quiet, Hiawatha. What are you thinking about? <laughs> Her. So beautiful. I know. They're all like that. By the way, remind me to tell you about these two Algonquin sisters. They're not all like Minnehaha. I'm going to come back. And make her my wife. Minnehaha? Are you crazy? Some things you just know. Well, you may know it, but that she cat, that's another question. She knows. Well, if you're right, you'll probably uh, live an interesting life. Short, but interesting. Which way are you going? 
I was thinking about going south for the winter. Maybe into Seminole country. But I've heard the Ojibwe were great storytellers and singers. <laughs> You've got to meet my Uncle Yago. Okay. I'm with you. <laughs> Besides, I haven't known anybody in my life before. Forget it. So, Hiawatha and Chibiabas travel eastward together for many days. Chibiabas, he was a good boy. I miss him. That come later, old woman. Until finally, they come back to the Chibwa nation. But things are not the same as when Hiawatha left. Were you worried? Not yet. Maybe about the first snow. I start to worry. <laughs> Majiquis? I found it. We fought. I won. Can you tell me about it? What is there to tell? Enough of that. This is Shibiabos of Seneca. He has come to stay with us for a while. Hello. I'm afraid I have little to offer you to eat. I'm sorry. Why? Has Iago been hunting for you? Hunting, but not killing. Game is scarce. The drought has dried up the streams and what little roots and berries there were are almost all gone. The good years come. Game is fat, plentiful but always followed by bad years. The good years will come again. But meanwhile, we tighten our belts. I've got a solution. You're the war chief. Lead us into war. War. Why? With who? It doesn't matter who. The Mandan have food. We'll kill them, take their food. The Arikara have food. We'll kill them, take their food too. It's better their women cry in the night instead of ours. Eh? But it'll take a strong chief to make such a war. No, it would take a fool. Soon we would be at war with all the tribes we attacked. Maybe others too who fear that we might attack them next. That would be suicide. Besides, I will not lead our young men to war for food that rightfully belongs to others. If you're not willing to act, what's the point of this council meeting anyway? You may be right, Hiawatha. The cycle of feast and famine is nature's way. Short of war, there's not much we can do. Surely nature must have more than one way. Been looking for you. Looks like something's on your mind. Too many things. Far too many. Why should we live like all other creatures of the forest? Like the squirrels, wait for the acorns to fall from the trees. Or the deer who follow the grass, who die if the rains do not come or if the grass does not grow. Because that's the way it's always been. Okay, sorry. I have prayed. My prayers have gone unanswered. I'm going to look within. I'm going to seek a vision. Go ahead, my friend. It won't hurt.
Oh, my Hiawatha. Your prayers are heard in heaven, for you pray not like the others, not for greater skill in hunting, or fishing, or tribes in battle. You pray for the people. Who are you? I have descended from the throne of the Master of Life. I am London, the friend of man. I have come to warn you and to instruct you how through struggle and labor you shall gain what you have prayed for. Rise up, Hiawatha. Wrestle with me. By your struggle, Hiawatha. Rise up. By your struggle. <laughs> Feeling better? Are you? Enough. Enough. <laughs> well done. But I will come again for you. Where the rain may fall upon me, and where the sun may come and warm me, lay me in the earth and make it soft and loose and light above me. said, let no hand disturb my slumber, nor weed or worm molest me, nor ravens come to haunt me. Only you come and watch me until I leap into the sunshine. Leap into the sunshine? Which is why I didn't tell you or anybody else until now. What is it? I don't know. Have you ever seen a plant like it? Never.
Taste it. Sweet. I'm good. This is Mondaman's gift to us. Food we could grow ourselves. Food we can count on year in and year out. Hiawatha. You remember Willowhand and her daughter, Sparrow Song? No comb is acid in her head. It's time for Hiawatha to marry. Only problem, Hiawatha is not able to get Minnehaha off his mind. wrong with Sparrow Song? Nothing is wrong with Sparrow Song. She's nice. Then why not take her as your wife? Good family match? She's homely looking. You need to be quiet. And she has two duck toes on each foot. I don't think you've ever seen that before. <laughs> She's not Minnehaha. Why do you insist on taking a stranger for a wife? You know nothing about her. You've never even met her. I know she's Dakota, not Ojibwe. That's enough. Grandmother. For the first time, our people are building permanent lodging. These are good days. And all you can think of is to marry me off? You have grown too proud of yourself, young man. Bring corn to the people, yes, that's good. Build permanent lodges, yes, also good. But too good for a girl from your own tribe. Shameful. No, Comis did not give Hiawatha any peace. But Hiawatha was only going to marry the girl he wanted to marry. And so one day, he started back for the land of the Dakotas. Hello, Minnie. So, you're back, are you? Do you think we could talk? Alone. You can walk me to my father's lodge. Minnehaha. I have come back to see you. Oh? Why? Why? Why do you think? The very day I met you, I told Chibiabos that. Chibiabos, I remember him. The poet. The great lover. How is he? He hasn't drowned yet. <laughs> He is cute. But thou, wild bird of the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about Chibiabos? You started it. You said you told him something. I told him I was going to come back and make you my wife. Oh? And I have come back. I'm going to speak with your father. Oh, are you? Yes. Give me your weapons. Why? You would take me as your wife, but you don't trust me with your weapons. Of course, but... Your war club. Your arrows. Your bow.
Are you hurt? No. I brought you these. You didn't say you didn't love me. No, I didn't. Then I would kill you. You would kill one who brings you a valuable gift? Or even more, valuable information. What do you want? Like you, I want to become war chief of my people. Then you have a problem. Hiawatha is your war chief. Not if he were dead. If you want him dead, kill him. Well, I would. But he is uh, well thought of amongst my people. Some even believe he was sent from the spirit world. <laughs> no Ojibwe could kill Hiawatha and then expect to become chief. Hiawatha has killed many Mandan warriors. Brought much sorrow and mourning to many Mandan lodges. What is this information you bring? Hiawatha has gone alone into the lands of the Dakota. So? Soon he will be returning along the same path. <laughs> <laughs> the first night after we get home, we rest. The second night will be our wedding. And a wedding feast. So far away. From my people. It would be strange, Hiawatha. My people will become your people. Who told you I would come this way? Look among your own people, Hiawatha. Even you have enemies. Kill me, I will tell you no more. Hiawatha! Hiawatha! Oh, 
Let's go. Then what? The Mandan will only send other war parties against our village, and, and in turn, I will lead our warriors against them. It has always been that way. And it always will be. Till we... Come on. you've told me about your grandmother sounds wonderful, but do you think she'll like me? I'm sure she will. You both have a lot in common. Like what? You'll see. Still, she doesn't... Enough. When I came back last year, I told her about you. She couldn't wait for me to bring you home. She wants only my happiness. And that means you. And you mine. But you can understand why I worry. I know. But my grandmother trusts my judgment. In all things. This is Minnie my wife to be. Is she not as beautiful as I said? Come inside, child. I want to talk to you. More corn, Grandmother? Chibiabos, tell us one of your great stories of adventure. The one about the magician. Once in days not remembered, in ages near the beginning of time, there lived in the Northland a hunter with ten young and comely daughters, all tall and lithe as wands of willows. Only a weenie, the youngest, she the willful and wayward, she the silent, the dreamy maiden. She was the fairest of all the sisters. All these women married warriors, married brave and haughty husbands. Look among your own people, Hiawatha. 
Only a weenie. Even you have enemies. The youngest laughed and flouted all her lovers. What were you like when you were a little boy? <laughs> Me? <laughs> I don't know. Ask grandmother. <laughs> She'll probably give you an earful. I did. But she thinks the sun and the moon revolve around you, so her opinion doesn't count. And you know better? I do. I'm your wife. <laughs> Were you... a little troublemaker? <laughs> sure. That's what little boys are for. Why are you so curious? Do you feel anything? <laughs> we didn't come here to pick berries, did we? No. Is there a child? I think so. <laughs> So, Rokom has come to like girl from Dakota, after all. <laughs> Enough talk. Time to go to sleep. You want to hear more? Come back tomorrow. <sighs> Will Hiawatha be here? Who knows? Up to him. <laughs> Thank you, Oka. I got a good mind. Pack up and move. Move on. Forget this high water. Find some Indians that's ready to do some business. Priest? Don't you find it remarkable that all the tribes we've visited honor and revere Hiawatha's name? No, I don't. The problem here, priest, I've been watching you. You're becoming obsessed with this Hiawatha and all these stories. You're forgetting that your job here is to snag souls from Mother Church, not go chasing after some wild figment of the heathen imagination. Yes, yes, you would think so. Huh? Mm. No, we is... That is what we teach. But now... Uh, I was becoming moldy, I'm afraid. Mm. It was good to come out from behind the walls. John, what if these native souls are already in good hands? Good hands? What was it? Mijikiwis or Gichimanitu? Or, or Hiawatha, son of a god and a mortal woman, sent to save his people who fasted and then brought food to the multitudes. Ah, ah you watch your comparisons, priest. They could be considered heresy. It was said that the Redeemer would come again, was it not? Is it not possible that he chose not to visit a Christian land the second time? No, enough of the devil talk, priest. All right. Stop the devil talk All right, now. my friend, don't let my musings bother you. Maybe I'm getting old. I won't. Good night, John. Good night, Makwa. Good night, please. I 
now. I know. An owl. morning yeah why not find i'm making some progress around here oh yes and did you know that not all these savages are happy kowtowing to your hiawatha in fact some of them like my friend paku is there is about sick to death of having to get hiawatha's okay before he goes into the woods i don't think it's quite that difficult for now, you haven't talked to this much hmm? i have and my good friend there assures me that he knows these woods and rivers as well as Hiawatha. And he said to me that he could get me all the pelts I can handle. Hmm? I don't think it's... I, I don't think it's wise to be interfering in this way. Who is interfering? Hmm? Huh? Come on. I'm not. Am I? Look at him. He loves the feel of that weapon in his hand. Hmm? Doesn't he? Loves it. Which is exactly what I intended. Yes, I'm sure. But I would advise you to go slowly. These people are more clever than you give them credit. You think so, do you? Yes. Yes, I do. The fuck just wants to talk to you about your rifle. I think he wants to make a deal. Ideal, eh? Well, now, we'll just see how clever they are, won't we, priest? Hmm? Come on. All right. What do you want to do here? You want to trade those belts for this little luck? Look, Holmes, I'm curious about Hiawatha's wife. We have seen nothing. Minnehaha heard nothing of her in the village. More to that story later. Now come the part about Pearl Feather. <laughs> Pearl Feather? What the devil? The evil magician. Oh, oh yes, that's right. The evil magician. <laughs> Please. How do you keep track of all this drivel? Please, Yanko, go on. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep. Wake me when we get to the part about the fur. Now, I want to settle down and live happily with Minnehaha and all the warnings and promises of his father, which he was Lord of the West Wind, began to seem like, almost like a nearly forgotten dream. Grandmother. Smell the air. What is it? I haven't seen it for many seasons. I hoped never to see it again. They're dead. What caused this? Who caused it is the question, my grandson. Megisalgwen. It comes from the Black Swamp. He sends it to bring disease and death among the people. The one my father called Pearl Feather. Pearl Feather, the magician. Manitou of wealth and wampum. 
who hoard the medicines intended for the people. Why? Why else? To increase his power over us. Medicines to cure diseases that he and other evil spirits visit us with. Why has he brought these poisons to us now? Who knows? But here he is and he must be stopped. I will stop him, Grandmother. Where can I find him? Far to the west. But he's very dangerous. Is he alone? Impossible to say. No one who has gone into the Black Swamp has come out to talk about it. I will go and speak with the Agu. And we will come back. And send them on in a good way. Why must you be the one to go? If not me, then who? You don't always have to be the one to solve everybody's problems. I hoped you would understand. Because that's what you think your father, ruler of the West Wind, would expect? What about what I would expect? What about what I want? I am thinking of what you want the most. Have you had any more strains? Not today. But you will. And when our son is born, do you want to have to worry about Pearl Feather and his death and disease? Because it will also come. Then go. Go! get back. You'll be kicking up a storm. Be careful. Where do you think you're going? With you. Do you know what you're doing? Do you? I just remembered something else about Pearl Feather. They say he's invincible. One part of his body. He protects the crown of his head. We shall see, Uncle. I think he knows we're coming. He's a magician. Where do you think those sounds come from? I do not know. Well, when are we going? Soon. Are you in such a rush to meet the Creator? Uh. 
Lou. Were you trying to scare me, Papa Kiwis? We should be scared. A maiden all alone in the woods? I'm not a maiden. I'm a married woman. A married woman without a husband is like a maiden in some ways. I have a husband. And it will not be long before he returns from his journey. A very foolish husband. To leave a beautiful young wife alone for so long. So early in the marriage. I'm managing just fine. Oh? And why haven't I seen you smile just once since Hiawatha went away? I've been watching you. What gives you that right? Your beauty, of course. Couldn't help myself. All the girls said you should watch out for Papa Kiwis. <laughs> what else have they said about me? I miss my husband. Is that so hard to understand? And you're not even a little bit angry at him for going off and leaving you all alone. How did you know this? Well, how could you think otherwise? A young bride in a strange land, among strange customs, so far from her family, her home. I would never have left you alone anyhow. I have to get back to the corn. The corn can wait. Chibiabos. I've had a bad feeling all day. You do not have to come into the Black Swamp with me if you do not want to. To tell you the truth, I'm a little tired of collecting other people's stories. I want to tell some of my own stories for a change. Now that's a story. Lousy luck, eh? How am I? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. You will be okay. 
I will go and get Pearl Feather's medicines for you. Hiawatha, you kill him. Not the other way around. Okay? Okay, brother. I'm scared. There's no other way. Just go. your lodge, Meggie Sogborn. Hiawatha awaits your coming. Magician. Chibiabos. 
Chibiamos. Rest well, my friend. Then later, Hiawatha went back to Pearl Feather's place and loaded up all his wealth. Wampum belts and pouches, silver-headed arrows, buffalo and beaver furs, furs of sable and ermine. Three of us. He fought well. Our poet fought well. Poison mist. It has not returned. Pearl Feather? Dead by my hand. Wait. These things are for all of you to divide among yourselves. But this, these medicines are more valuable than all of Pearl Feather's skin and wampum. You will see. If I would have had these in the Black Swamp, Chibiabos would still be alive. They will see. I will show them. How is he? I was wrong. There is no baby. There will be. Look at the edge on that blade. Hmm? Hey, ladies, look at that edge. Hmm? See how it slices right through that fish? Metal, ladies. Good stuff. Here. Let's try one of your clay pots. See what happens when I drop it on that rock? Breaks to pieces, right? We'll do that with a metal pan. On that same rock. There you go. No problem. Good as new. Metal, ladies. Metal. It will turn your lives right around. Hmm? There now. Take some of these things home with you. And uh, try them out for yourselves. Here you go. Morning, priest. The women, too. Yes, yes. Came to me last night. 
I figured if the young men are getting a little antsy about how things are running around here, women couldn't be too far behind. Although, a few of them might need a little extra push. But they don't really need any of it, do they? No. No, they don't. But they want it. They want it. Look around you, priest. Hmm? These people are living like a bunch of savages. That's right. So, you just keep your mind on what you need to do here. Hmm? And let me take care of the business. <laughs> well, I don't see any new faces. Comas, we have been here three days, and we are very grateful for your hospitality and the stories we've been told. Have you spoken to Hiawatha? Of course. I talk to Hiawatha every day. Hiawatha not ready to come. Finished story tonight, he said. White man know what in high water's heart. Then maybe he come. <laughs> Last high water. When they come back from the black swamp, high water, tired of always fighting. Always at war with other tribes. He made a plan send out invitations to all the nations for a great council meeting. They came, the Delaware, Mohawk, and Blackfoot, the Mandan, Huron, and Dakota, to hear what Hiawatha had to say. We are all children of the Great Spirit. We are all equal in his eyes. He is weary of watching us wage war among ourselves. He is tired of the bloodshed which leads only to prayers for vengeance. Gitche Manitou would have there be peace among us from this day hence. Peace is for cowards. No, there is strength in peace. See, one arrow, one nation. See how easily it breaks. Many arrows, many nations. They cannot be broken. Why should we believe that Kichi Manitou has chosen you to deliver this message? Think. Clever Ojibwa convince us to cast aside our weapons. Wouldn't that be a good time for a clever enemy to attack? I am not your enemy, Mandan. I think I have proven that to you. Prove that the Great Spirit speaks through you. It will work, Mandan. I know. Get your Manitou told you. <laughs> Safe journey. You asked who told me you had gone to the Dakotas. Safe journey, Hiawatha. The Mandan told me you visited him. He lied. He lied. I have no weapon. All this talk of peace is making you careless. I could get you killed. Kill me then. What are you gonna do?
Nothing. As long as I have no more trouble from you. After Hiawatha gave corn to the people, medicines, and brought peace to all the nations, many good seasons passed. Hiawatha became known as a great healer, peacemaker, wise satchel. For all the good that did, Minnehaha couldn't have her baby change everything. Be quiet, old woman. Yes, there was no child and food started to become scarce. A new kind of winter was coming. He's a fine, strong boy. Isn't he, Grandma? Look at that cowlick. Means he'll be up to some mischief, all right. Don't be sad, Minnehaha. Yours will come, too. But when? Soon. But you have to take care of yourself. Eat better. I'm fine. I don't think eating is the problem. Who are you? What do you want here? Let them be. Maybe they come to see Hiawatha. Grandmother, who are your visitors? You don't know them? I don't know. They haven't said a word. Welcome to the Lodge of Nokomis. What brings you here? Have you traveled far? They must have come for a reason. We will give them food and shelter for the night. Maybe tomorrow they will talk. I don't like them. There's no need to be afraid.
grandmother. What am I going to do? I've tried everything. I don't know. She is so weak. She needs meat, not corn broth. She needs strength to fight this fever. But the game is all gone. There must be something. I was a... I was a... I'm here. Don't leave me. <laughs> Please. Not now. I must. accompany you? Again, you question the will of the immortals. Yes. Yes, I question. I give you back your promise of immortality. Now give me back my many hearts. Please, think carefully, my son. I have thought. I am not immortal. I'm a man. Then I am sorry. Goodbye, my son.
Just what I figured. No higher what? The total waste of time. No, Jean. No. It's not a total waste of time. I'm not sure what Hiawatha really means to his people, but... Priest, I may not know what Hiawatha means to his people, but I know what he means for his people. And if they keep listening to that nonsense in there, it means they're going to be left behind or moved out when the real trade comes to this country. That's what it means. John, for once, try to put yourself in their place. All right. I am in their place. No. Not really. Oh, this is their place. Priest. You look like you could use some sleep. Come on, let's go. Okay. Oh, let's go. Grandmother. I want that. I must go. Tonight? Come with me into the village. Why tonight? Hi, water. Why must you go at all? My time among the people is over. Isn't that so, Papakwis? Why do you ask me? You are among those who have an eye for what the white man brings. His smoke sticks that roar, his metal knives and hatchets. There's no evil with these things. They're good. They make life easy. And you would trade the beaver and the mink and ermine for them? We have plenty where they come from. I had a dream. A dream of the white man coming. And in it, all of our tribes were scattered. Our lands traded for, stolen. Many die. And what people are left are swept west before the white man. West. I know not where. I would never trade the lands of the people. Nor would I. So you be the judge, Papakwias. Shall I remain? Or do I go?
Goodbye, grandmother. Goodbye, my grandson. Hiawatha. See the moon, grandmother? I will never be too far away. <laughs> <laughs>